Simple sentences. Before we move on, we need to know the definition of the following words. Noun, verb, subject, object, and predicate. A noun is a word that describes a person, place, thing, or idea. So, for example, in the sentence, Billy hit the ball, we have two nouns, Billy, that's a person, and ball, that's a thing. And in this sentence, love changes people, we also have two nouns, love and people. If you're frozen right now thinking, how is love a noun? It's an idea. It's an abstract noun. A verb is a word that describes an action. So in the sentence, Billy hit the ball, hit is the action, so that's the verb. And in the sentence, Jimmy thinks a lot, thinks is the verb. And again, if you're frozen thinking, well, wait a second, is think a verb an action? It is. But it's an abstract action. It's something that you can't see, hear, or feel. But it's something that goes on in the mind. But it's still an action. It's just an abstract one. It's not concrete. Now, a note on the verb is. So when you say he is, she is, is is a verb. And so are all its forms. So these are its forms in the present sense. So you say I am, he is, and you, we, and they are. So anything that comes before these verbs is the subject. And again, the same is true for its past tense, was and were. So anything that comes before these verbs is also the subject. That's how the verb to be or is works. Now a subject is a noun or pronoun that does an action in a sentence. So in the sentence, Billy hit the ball, Billy is the subject. Notice, a subject again is a noun that does a verb, not just a noun, but a noun that does the verb. So in this case, Billy's the subject. An object is a noun or pronoun that receives the action of the verb in a sentence. So it doesn't do the action, but the action affects it. So in the sentence, Billy hit the ball, ball is the object, because it's what's being hit. It's not doing the hitting, but the ball is being hit. In the sentence, love changes people, people is the object, because it's what's being changed. It's not doing the changing, but the changing is happening to the people. A predicate is the verb and everything that follows it in a sentence. So Billy was the subject, hit the ball is the predicate. Same thing with Jimmy thinks a lot. Jimmy is the subject, but thinks a lot is the predicate. So now let's go to simple sentences. What's the definition of a simple sentence? A simple sentence is one subject and a predicate. Or you can think about it this way. A simple sentence is one subject and a verb plus everything following the verb. So it can simply be a subject and a verb. If you learned the definition of sentences this way in the past, five or more words, that's wrong. Take a look at these five words, up, right, phone, next, green. That's not a sentence. That's why this definition is wrong. This is the definition of a sentence. A simple sentence is one subject and a predicate. So here's an example. He runs. He is the subject and runs is the verb, the predicate. Notice, just a subject and a verb make a sentence, and that's two words, but it's still a sentence. It has all the essential parts, subjects, and predicates. Example number two, Billy completed his homework. Billy is a subject, completed is the verb, and everything following it is the predicate. So you have a subject and a predicate. Example number three, Star Wars is cool. Star Wars is the subject, and again, remember, is is the verb, and everything following the verb is the predicate. So you have a subject and a predicate. Example number four. Sarah moved the couch. Sarah is the subject. Moved is the verb, and everything following it is the predicate. Example number five. Bobby laughed. Bobby's the subject. Laughed is the verb, the predicate. Notice, it's just a subject and a verb, but it works because a simple sentence can simply be one subject and a verb. That's what you have here. Example number six. 
She hates macaroni. She is the subject, and hates is the verb, the action. Now, some of you are frozen right now thinking, wait a second, hates, how is that a verb? Well, it's an abstract verb. You can't see it or touch it, but it's something that goes on without being simply seen or touched, but you can understand it with the mind. But it is an action, so she is a subject, hates is the verb, macaroni is the predicate, so she is the subject, hates macaroni is the predicate. Simple sentence. Thanks for watching. Until next time.